Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we're going to show you how to make this really cool Ant-Man belt. The items you're going to need today is some one inch black strapping. You're also going to need a one inch um, buckle and clip um, that go together like this. So you're going to need one of those. You're going to need one sheet of an EVA floor foam mat, um, preferably with this kind of design on one side and a plain design on the other side. And you're also going to need some thin um, craft foam that you can get from most uh, fabric and craft stores. Some white Bristol card. Uh, you're going to need a pen. Some E6000 glue. A glue gun, some glue sticks, you're going to need um, this item here called Plasti Dip Paint. Um, this is actually used to cover foam and uh, make it look plastic. Some uh, silver spray paint. And also um, one of these lights. Um, this was something I actually had laying around the garage. Um, it's a twist light that you can actually um, use on your bike. And uh, this is what it looks like right here. So you're going to need one of those. So let's get started. Alright guys, the first thing you're going to do, um, you're going to cut the black strap in. Um, just the size of the waist that you need. And on one side, um, what you're going to do is... Put this black strap in through here and you're going to put some hot glue and glue this right here and then you're going to do the same to the other side just like this okay okay we've got the strap in and um, glue just right here and the next thing i want to do and um, where this is one inch i want to make it a little bit wider so what i'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and put these two pieces together and the way I'm going to do this I'm going to cut a small strip of this strap in and I'm going to just glue these two here and then what I'm going to do I'm going to put one, two, three, four pieces on there and that way it just kind of makes it a little bit wider and holds it together Alright guys, we've got those glued together now, and what I'm going to do now is cut out the templates um, just for the pieces that's going to go on the Ant-Man belt. Alright guys, uh, these are the paper templates. Um, this area here would actually be the back of the belt, um, because where the two buckles are going to be there, they would actually be the front of the belt. And on that front is um, where I'm actually going to attach the light. So from these paper templates, um, I'm actually going to cut them out of the thick foam, and the fin foam and I'm going to show you what one of those pieces look like right now. Okay guys, um, I've cut out one of the thick pieces of EVA floor mat. Um, this is going to be one of uh, the examples of the pieces that I'm going to use on the belt. And here I've actually got the fin craft foam. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to show you one of the patterns I'm going to do. I'm going to use like this one small piece here. This one small piece there, and that one small piece there like that. And what I'm going to actually use to attach these, I'm going to use the hot glue and the glue gun. And then once that's dry, I'm actually going to spray it in the Plasti Dip. I'm going to let that dry for about two to three hours. And then I'm going to come back and then use the silver spray paint. And once I do that, um, I'm going to attach all the pieces uh, to the belt. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to come back, let that dry, and we'll show you what it looks like. Alright guys, um, this is what the belt looks like. Um, I've actually spray painted all the pieces. And then what I've done is um, actually come back and hot glue um, all the foam pieces um, to the fabric belt that I built there. So these are all actually on now. And the next thing I want to do now is attach the light on the front. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Alright guys, um, this is the light here that I'm using. 
um, it was kind of hollow in the back and I didn't have a surface to stick it to so what I did um, I just got some leftover foam and I cut a circle out and then I used some E6000 glue and glue this and held it for about 20 minutes or so just so it had a strong base and then once that's dry I've got another surface here that I can actually glue um, onto the belt alright guys and um, we've got the light glue to the belt here and we actually have it on right now um, so this is what the finished belt looks like I'm pretty pleased with it um, I may come back in and just add some um, other effects of the 3D foam parts and then what we may do just to keep it on the jacket just put like a little strap um, just to feed the belt through um, but this is where we're up to so far guys on the Ant Man costume and um, please like share and subscribe to our channel and um, we're going to be posting more updates soon and um, we're going to be also building a helmet and some accessories so thank you for watching and we'll see you real soon